Hello everyone, and welcome to my Little Johnston's official channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Little People, Big World alum Audrey Roloff shared an update about her family's home renovation project. While participating in a queue and a via her Instagram stories on Tuesday, November 7, Audrey, 32, told her fans that she, her husband, Jeremy Roloff, and their kids are currently living with her parents, and they have a long way to go before the renovations are complete. Audrey added that Jeremy, 33, is basically doing the work of a general contractor and is doing a lot of physical work. She continued, We don't have enough time to actually make good progress on it between work, the kids, homeschool, life, etc., it's slow, the TLC personality concluded. Audrey and Jeremy, who share kids Ember, 6, Bode, 3, and Radley, 23 months, bought their home in Hillsboro, Oregon, in June 2022, for $1.5 million. The property spans 4,414 square feet and sits on more than four acres of farmland. In addition to the main house, the property includes a 1,660-square-foot detached structure with its own full bath and kitchenette. After a two-year search spanning all over the state of Oregon, it is time, Audrey revealed about their purchase via Instagram at the time. We got a farm, and look what's in our backyard yup. That's our trestle. The Oregon native continued, if you read our book or even just looked at the cover, lol you know the significance that this train trestle has played in our love story and lives. It's where Jay asked me to be his girlfriend. It's where he asked me to marry him. It's where we took the photo for the cover of our New York Times best-selling book. And it's within walking distance of my parents' property. While Audrey and Jeremy managed to find their dream home, the influencer has been open about the struggles they faced as owners of a fixer-upper. Home renovations are insanely expensive right now, she told her fans via Instagram in April. She admitted they felt a little stuck with what they wanted to prioritize because the house needs so much. Audrey continued, but we can't do even close to it all. The house was a fixer and we saw the potential and vision, but one year later the cost of making the vision come to life is harder than we anticipated it to be, she added. The mother of three said that the home still has the previous owner's smell baked into the carpet and dry walls, adding, the kitchen cabinetry is peeling everywhere, and there are stains and sticky spots we can't get clean, no matter how hard we try. And of course, it's all super dated. Despite the problems with the home, Audrey assured her fans that she wasn't trying to be negative. We are so grateful to be here but I also don't want to sugarcoat what comes with the territory of buying a fixer on land, she concluded. It's not for the faint of heart.